Trev Last Albert. night, Trev Alberts was on the radio, so, you know, and obviously that's a very interesting thing as Nebraska is still trying to hire a head coach as we get closer and closer to the end of the season. And Trev Alberts was on radio and had several things to say, including his so far on the coaching search. He says, quote, Sip, things are going well. We are where we had hoped to be confident as we move forward. That was a quick br- brief from uh, Trev Alberts on the situation right now with the head coaching search. He said he doesn't have, he does not have a specific date in mind for an announcement, though he is aware of the December 5 opening of yes. the portal and the December 21 to 23 early signing period. On that note, he says, quote, we're not going to rush a hire to make a hire, but at the same time, I recognize we're moving quickly toward when a decision will need to be made. So on that same time. Same so um, there are things happening, okay? It, it, well, they they kind of have to be yeah, happening. Happen. I mean, there's no way you can operate without things happening right now. Right, right. If there wasn't things happening, we'd be in major freakout mode, as uh-huh. you probably should be in uh-huh. major freakout mode if that's the situation. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's been – there's a lot of questions about Matt Rule, and it's been on our website, but I would say – I'd watch that situation. Uh, we're watching that situation um, and others. Um, I would say, and I think I said this on our, I can't remember. There's so many different things. I'd keep, I'd watch Leipold. Um, so yeah, it's fluid. It's fluid. I can say this. It's fluid right now. Fluid. Is that, is that, is that okay? To say? Well, I think it should be fluid. I mean, I, I, what else would it be? <laughs> Until there's an announcement. Right. It's fluid. You know what? Until there's an announcement, it's fluid. What I would say, okay, now we there, there's there's things that we can say that are informative, Jake. And one of them is, and I and I say this with 100% certainty. Okay, as of 10 o'clock okay. last night. Well. As of 10 o'clock last night, no deal's done. No deal's done. There's no deal done. That's I can say that. Um, so that just I just go from there. Do you think they have their guy that they want though? Uh, they've narrowed it down. Well, again, that sh- that should be the case here, right? It's it's November seventeenth, right? Nebraska has a game in two days and one more game next right. Friday, and that's it. And then recruiting uh-huh. is important before this early signing day in December with the transfer portal. Also, December fifth starting up. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's important to get a guy. So it had better be narrowed, mm-hmm. like you yeah. said it is. Yeah. So nothing we are saying is all that great. I mean, it's not yeah, groundbreaking no news. No. Here. I mean, there's no, I mean, I can, I mean, some people I think think there's a, dis, they've made a final decision. No, I, or they've made a hire, you know, that it's done. No, it's not. It's not. Um, and, but, I mean, Trev said they're heading toward resolution, which they have to be. Yes, and a, uh, Trev was asked a question on radio last night by a fan. <clears throat> okay, this is where we're going to get yeah, into it. Yeah, we're doing it right now. We have to get into this. It's important. Trev was asked, Sip, uh, if he could assure the Husker fans that they were not looking for a, quote, bargain right. coach. So money talk here. Here's Trev Albert's response. Quote, obviously, economics are all part of the decision-making process. But I think we've been very clear. We're looking for the right fit, and we're not going to make decisions based on who we can hire to cost us the least amount of money. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I do take very seriously being a good steward of the resources of the University of Nebraska. I feel very confident we'll have the resources we need to make to hire the very best coach and very best fit for the University of Nebraska, end quote. This is what I ask you, 464-5685. I was talking about this before even we even had this Trev Alberts discussion today. Mm-hmm. Uh, my question to you is this. Does anyone in the state really care about how much Nebraska gives their new head coach? 464-5685. So here's the deal, Sip. Everybody in the state, everybody, yes. well, not everybody, most of the people will oh. say Nebraska has lots of money. They do. They can hire whoever they want. It does. It can. Okay. But then you get pushback when you hear an announcement about how much money a coach is getting. Say, wow, that, that's a lot of money. Yeah. You can't have both sides here. What side are you on? Okay. It, 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 there's a there's a fairly easy answer in my mind. 
Now, I don't know. I can't. I don't speak for the people. You do. I do that. Yeah. My job. <laughs> I, do. I don't speak for anybody. Leave that to me. I, I don't speak for anybody but myself, generally. I just say, Jake, as long as the money is within reason, either way. What's reason? Okay. See, that's where we go. When, right. if, you, if you say, fans, which is true, that Nebraska has a lot of money, which is true, then what is in reason okay. for a lot of money for a coach? Then I would counter with it depends on who you're talking about. With Urban Meyer, within reason, within reason, $9 million a year. I think more than that. Okay. Well, I'm Mel okay. Tucker's getting nine and a half. Right. And, and who's then, got a better resume? Uh, Urban Meyer by th- a million. Right. right. Okay, so within reason, ten million. I'm not now to me that anything above ten million, I'm I'm saying, uh, what, what are we doing? Even here? with Urban Meyer, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is Mel? No, you can backload well, it a how, little how, bit. How, you how can did, backload it, Jake. I mean, and he can it can escalate. There can be escalators there. Um, no, ten. That's what, what's reason. Jimbo getting? Ten a year at Texas yeah, A&M? A little, just shy of ten. And whose I resume think. is better, Jimbo or Urban Meyer? I, I, I get it, but I'm t- telling you, within reason at Nebraska, not Texas A&M. Um, within reason at Nebraska, which is different than Texas A&M. Um, remember, th- this isn't Texas A&M. I understand that there, we don't have oil money. No, but we have a lot of money though. Yeah. But and there'd be more money flowing in if the fan base sees a successful program. Uh, okay, so something out of reason. Lance Leipold gets the job and we pay him ten million dollars. No, no. Excessive. Excessive. Lance Leipold gets the job and we pay him nine million. Excessive. Lance Leipold gets the job, we pay him eight million. Excessive. Lance Leipold gets the job, we pay him seven million. Okay, now that's, that's probably now you're getting in, now you're getting near it. You know. Frost was at five mil when he was hired, uh-huh. five million a year. Mm-hmm. I mean, got cut to four. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Uh, <laughs> Deservedly so yeah. for the performance on the field. Right, for sure. So, yeah, Lance at seven would seem uh, borderline excessive to me. You don't need to pay him. But at six, million. you're fine with that, right? I'd be getting into the – yeah, Lance would kill me for doing this. But, yeah, <laughs> you're cutting, yeah, into, my cutting, Come on. Some, cutting into his – Get out of my pocketbook, man. <laughs> right. Okay, so name another coach. Luke Fickle, seven million. Okay. More. Okay. Guy was in the playoff last yeah. year. Okay, the seven playoff. five eight. See, it's different for different people that we're establishing here. But I think most people could agree on a on a threshold that's within reason. That's what I that's what I'm talking about. Now, you hope that Trev doesn't lowball people because he doesn't need to lowball people, right? He doesn't need to yeah, lowball the, anybody. The money is not a problem here. Right. Don't lowball anybody. I mean, you don't need to. But with that being said, if a coach thought that Trev was lowballing him and we don't we don't we don't know what, what money that could be. Let, let let's say hypothetically okay. that like okay, let's go to Lance Lightbolt. Let's say okay. that it's it's announced that he gets hired for nine mil a year. Oh my god. Here's here's what the concern the would be oh my god. Here's what comes to my brain saying, My God, I mean, no one wants the job. At that point, you got to pay Lance nine mil to come to Nebraska. That it took that much, yeah, that's to get the, someone to come here. Outlandish. That would be my first thought. It wouldn't be Nebraska overpaid, but that'd be true. It'd be wow, you had to go that far to get a coach. Uh, that, my second thought would be okay, how much you got to pay his assistants? Yep, I mean, are you got to pay them seven million dollars? Um, a gr- as a group, you about have to. I mean, I think. That that conversation is almost as important as the head coach conversation. Oh, oh absolutely, it is. You got to have a big pool for assistant coaches. Uh-huh. You have to. Uh-huh. And that pool is interesting. That discussion's interesting. Here's why: if it's Matt Rule, the pool for assistants is probably going to be much more than Lance Leipold. I mean, Matt Rule has had assistants with more with more experience that have had higher pay higher paying jobs, higher paying salaries um, than Lance. So rural would be more expensive. Absolutely. Yeah. He and his assistants. So I don't know. Does that matter to Trev is the question? Well, Trev, how much does it go back to that quote that he has said? He says, you know, he says economics are part of the the decision making process. But I think we've been very clear. We're looking for the right fit. We don't need to make decisions based on who can 
uh, who can hire the to cost us the least amount of money. Right. So at the end of the day, but like, he wants to be a good steward of the resources Nebraska okay. has. He says, "I get too. the good steward thing, but nobody cares at the end of the year if we have a bunch of millions of dollars in reserves at Nebraska, but but you didn't get the right coach. Nobody's going to say, Trev, good job. We got millions in reserves. Nice, but we're still three and nine, right? Or four and eight, or five and seven." Good job on the reserves, but we're not winning. The money, nobody, uh, nobody, nobody goes to an aid. Nobody assesses ads based on how he's doing financially. No, not really. No, as long as it's, long as it's, you know, again within reason. As long as he doesn't throw us into deep debt. I, I come on. I see, mean, but but people will push back and say, "Well, hang on. What what's Trev's history as an AD? He slashed programs at UNO finan- for financial reasons." Here, apples and oranges. He's trying to make a, a good decision financially for the university. Oh, apples and oranges here. I'm just trying to speak for that side of the fan base. That portion. That yeah, exists and out academia there. is a, a part of this too. Academia will raise its eyebrows, but that's a small thing. I think most fans, because of all the losing, are much more are much more open to the idea of overpaying if you have to. If because it's the of right all, coach, yes. yes. Right, right, exactly. It, it, because of all the losing, because of what we recognize now, there's no guarantee here. And it's we're in rough waters. I think people are more – okay, I'm speaking for the people now. I think the fans oh, will, will be – yeah, I am. I'm speaking for the people now. I think most fans will be more open to the idea of paying a lot of money for a head coach. Well, yeah, they should. I don't know if that would, would have been the case in 2003. Well, no, things have changed. Right. Dramatically. The, the whole coaching well, well, money has changed in general since well, 2003. Well, money's changed in general, but I'm I'm saying even relative to that situation in 2003, if you would have overpaid a coach back then, people say, "Why well, we got we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this at Nebraska." In 03, I think you would have got a lot more okay, of that. Okay, fine. Yeah, Fine. a lot more. Two years that. removed from playing in a national right. championship, and in you know that recently and having the, all the championships of the nineties. Two years removed, or not that far removed from a very conservative head coach Absolutely. who didn't make a lot of money. Right. Um, I think the mindset has evolved toward pay what you got to pay here. Pay what you got to pay. So, so go back to again. We talk about money. <clears throat> Hypothetically, if Nebraska, you heard, gave Urban Meyer a twelve million dollar year no. contract. <clears throat> Um, here's what I say. Is that a lot of money? Yes, it is. But it's showing you are actually committed to try to get this thing back off the ground in a big way and quickly. That feels too big to me. Twelve. Like, that's not going to happen. That's a hypothetical. That's, that, a that's hypothetical. not going to happen. But in that situation, my eyes would go like, whoa. Eyebrows would go way up on that one. Yeah, it, would. it would. But I'd say they got Urban freaking Meyer. I know, but I don't know if I want my eyebrows to go up like that. You can you could get him at a more reasonable price. I get what you're saying. If Mel Tucker's get nine and a half mil a year at Michigan State, mm-hmm. Urban could get twelve mil here. 